Bears. Are they even playing anymore? No. Thank God they're not, because it was Thank a horrible God. season. They suck really bad. Mass I'm Larry. And I'm Joe. That's, that's news to us. Do uh, you have a top story? I think that you do. Uh, I do? I don't know. Joe. Yeah, Larry. For the low, low price of just 10,000 euros, because I, I believe that's what that sign is, you can watch a woman give birth to her fourth child on her OnlyFans account. Breast milk not included. Why would I want to pay any money to see that? I saw it once and I, I can't forget, freaking forget it. Yeah, a mom who like hit my brain. headlines in 2019 Disgusting. after claiming she'd fake depression to get seven thousand or to get a seven thousand euro nose job has caused a stir once again after admitting she plans to live stream her birth. I don't know that anybody would want to watch that, dude. It's not like OnlyFans or and like this is her fourth child. This isn't even her. Sounds like she has an OnlyFans account. Yeah, uh, four kids. Uh, That's well, a throwback. The 39-year-old from Hitchin, Hertz, England, that is. It is Hertz, England. Has continued bringing home the bacon on the content subscription service after learning her family would be growing, uploading photos of her baby bump for those with pregnancy fetish. Yeah, people are in the, they call them pregos, right? Huh? When I hear prego, I think of tomato sauce, but. Yeah. It's a thing now. It's a thing on the internet. What well, people are into that, yeah. In the like pregnant women? and stuff like that, yeah. That's disturbing. <laughs> I don't even like this story. Like, I don't know. Who who would want to pay money to... I mean... Look, if you're you in... You've seen it once. Look, that's all you... you if it, you're into pregnant women, sight. that's a thing, right? That's I, I guess they say women glow when they're pregnant and stuff, and, and there's milk that comes out of things and stuff. I get, I, I don't get it, but I, that's cool for you. But why, even if you're into that, why would you want to see somebody get birth? It's horrifying. Yeah. It is absolutely horrifying. And it makes you see things in a whole different light. The whole thing, there's poop going on, and a whole thing that happens down there. Yeah. I don't want anything to do with any of that. Things are... I mean, it's glorious. It's the gift of life, right? So it's yeah. glorious. There's nothing but my about. God. There's a glorious after it's done, but in the process of getting it done. I remember during the whole process, ooh. I was just facing. I was like, I'll hold your hand, breathe. <laughs> yeah, but I was paying attention to her face. And I wasn't anywhere else. Yeah, out. And I fell yeah. off. I blacked out, yeah. and then all of a sudden, I had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was like, and he oh lactated. My, it's just like when we conceived. <laughs> Same thing, except for I was drinking first, not breathing. You need a couple shots after you see that. More than a couple about. shots, dude. Yeah. It, it is. I remember watching the video in biology for some reason. I don't know why they showed us this. No, so they, there was baby fetishes going on a long time ago with you. It wasn't a baby fetish. It was horrifying. Did you dude. pay ten thousand euros to see that? No, I would not. I would pay. I don't have ten thousand euros, and if I did, I would not pay to see that. I don't even that. know what ten thousand euros is. It's is. probably thirteen thousand dollars. Huh? It's probably. that much? Yeah, euros are worth more than dollars, though, dude. Wow. The American dollar has been going down, especially to now. see her. Give birth. Give birth. Not even like the seer thing. Once you've seen it, you don't need to see it again. Wait, what are you talking about now? Her thing or give the birth? Birth. Oh, but it's because every woman's thing is different. <laughs> you have a lot of experience in that area. I don't. I actually have one experience. <laughs> and it's different every time. Oh, uh, Joe, you got a swim? I do, Larry. Mm -hmm. You like fishing? I love fishing. Me too. Depends what we're fishing for. Let me give you a scenario. Okay. You're fishing. I am. When a gator shows up and chases you, do you A, run away, B, climb a tree, or C, back away while you shoot video of the gator, trip and fall, run towards the gator, then follow it back towards the water saying, hey, buddy, come here. <laughs> Pretty sure I climb a tree. <laughs> I don't think gators can climb trees. They I don't can't. Think. Bears can. Yeah. Oh, bear can climb yeah. the hell well, of it. Bears chasing you, screw. Oh, right? yeah. What are you gonna do? You're, Just you're roll up in a wall. S O L. Yeah. Gator chases you up a tree. Well, mm -hmm. I can't get up a tree, but I would try. <laughs> I mean, I'm screwed. If gator, I mean, let's be honest. If any wild animal chases me, I'm screwed. Story over. I'm gonna get eaten. Yeah. Fisherman quits on the spot when an absolute nightmare emerges from the water. Mm. He quits on the spot. I would have quit too. So a Florida fisherman's efforts came to a abrupt end when he almost became the catch of the day. Footage posted on YouTube shows 22-year-old Tommy Lee, not the guy, not the drummer. No. Oh. He's 20 years old. Gotcha. He used to be 20 years old when he was a drummer. What band was it? Molly Crew, right? Yeah. I would have got it if you had said. No, the audience members. Is on top they're, of my, they're right on their Tip game. my tongue. But my tip of the tongue was on top of my mouth because I was trying not to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, Tommy Lee got done drumming and he wanted to go fishing for tarpon in the Everglades. Uh, and all of a sudden, the alligator emerges from the water. Hmm. O G or J C, he says, as the gator approaches. Then, to make matters worse, Lee fell while fleeing. That is wow. horrifying. Fortunately, the gator held back and after a tense standoff, returned to the water. But the fisherman called it a day. And I am out of here, he said. Screw that. Yeah. Lee estimated the gator is 11 feet because he probably. Oh, that's a big gator. About. He's not Paul Hogan. He has no idea what he's talking about, dude. 11 footer? This guy doesn't know what 11 footer. This thing is probably that big. And he's like, oh, 11 yeah, footer, yeah. you just saw it. It bit my nuts. Like, like, hey, come a, on, give like me a, a freaking break. A fish story. Yeah, if it was Paul Hogan, I would trust him. Yeah, the one that got away. Paul Hogan was probably. The one that got away, it was always like this big, but it was only like that big, you know? Except for mine, because mine was really that big. <laughs> yeah, I, saw, I, I saw it. Close close right. yeah, I saw it. I thought about it for a second. I was like, eh, take glasses yeah. on and whatnot. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, anyway, he asked me about uh, it's mating season in Florida. Mating oh. season, so that's exciting. Did you ever see two alligators getting it on? It's weird that he's in during mating season, he's going fishing. I would have just been at home with my wife. Yeah, mating. It's mating season. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> makes sense. And didn't work for it, and just then, give it out to you. And then you can. Show it on video and people pay money for it. Yeah, on OnlyFans. Yeah. They I mean somebody's gonna pay ten grand to see somebody get birth, they pay ten grand what to is, see me do something. What is OnlyFans? It's like a sexual thing, I think. You think? I think that women they do things on it and you like oh. pay money for a subscription. Oh. oh. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. I don't have I don't I don't So you the giving birth is a sexual thing? I g I don't I have no idea. I mean I guess technically it started that way. That is disturbing. I mean how else does the baby get in there? You think well, I know, how it started. I know how it started. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's sexual. I'm just saying, but it's not sexual when it's coming out. No, not at all. It's the opposite. It should it's be complete yeah. opposite. It's dis disgusting. <laughs> it yeah, is. It's, like, it's like an alien being like, birthed. Yeah, I mean, I remember. I've never seen. It's like. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Hello." <laughs> I was like, "Oh my God, what is that? Get him!" Oh no. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my god. Joe. So anyway, the uh I don't know what happened here, man. <laughs> he said just to watch out for body of water, your bathtub, your swimming pool. So I'm I'm confused with your story though, because you, you said that somebody was fishing, but yet somebody was videotaping. What is he was he's probably videotaping while he fished. Oh. And then he saw a game. But then he said, Hey buddy, come here? No, I don't know what happened. This story is ridiculous. It just says to this be vigilant. <laughs> Producer said, get your own damn stories again. I don't know what that is. I mean, I think, <laughs> that, I, I think the, the, the headline is dope. Right. But then it wrote that hill from there. I think it's the majority of our stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the stories can't be winners, Joe. Just like... <laughs> what a great segue. No, no, I feel that you're so oh, that's Oh, yeah, I forgot. About, I, <laughs> speaking of stories that are winners... Yeah, let's speak of winners. Wow, this this there's a new soap opera coming to Lounge TV. Pretty excited about it because I used to watch soap operas back in the day. Did you? I did. Which ones did you watch? All My Children and Loving. You know, I watched Loving also. And General Hospital. And One Life to Live. And and The Young and the Restless. I feel yeah. like that you watched a lot of them. I, I, I had two sisters. I didn't have any sisters, but you watched a lot more than I did. I didn't have a choice. Like Loving was only 30 I wanted minutes. to watch Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, but I wasn't allowed to. Do you remember Tad? Was Tad in Loving or was that All My Children? He, he was, was in twin. Loving. Yeah. He oh, no, no. Twin. He was on All My Children. Yeah, he was a twin, right? Oh, no, no. Tad was a twin. Tad it was, was Stuart a twin. and the old guys. Stuart and Chancellor or something like that. Chandler, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they yeah. were freaking twins. Yeah. The old guys. One yeah. was kind of mentally slow and the other guy was like a billionaire. Yeah. And there was yeah. Opal. So, Susan Lucci was in it. Oh, yeah. That's all my uh, What's her face? Uh, I don't uh, think she ever won. No, what's either. her face? That she has a Kelly Ripa. She was like a like a like a homeless person. Yeah. In one of those soap operas. Yeah, it's amazing. But soap opera. Yeah, you never know who's going to be a star in them. But this this is going to be really an interesting soap opera. So let's take a look at the preview for it, Joe. I'm sorry. What? Let's take a look at the preview. She is from Jersey. Yeah? Tune in weekly, or whenever it's aired, to the new and riveting soap opera, written, directed, and produced by the one and only Juan Upper, featuring Joe Bump as Jimmy.
Uncle Larry as Barry. Weber as Michael. Hey guys! And Kevin as Kevin. As the lounge turns, only on Lounge TV. Oh wow, I can't wait to watch this. And that seems really intense. Like there, it seems exciting. Like there's gonna be something. Something's gonna happen. You yeah. can tell by their faces, uh, something's you know, gonna happen. Without a doubt. It's really impressive too. I, I need a show to get, really get into that. I'm, I want to watch too, but the whole he, time. Look at, yeah. look at this one opera guy, dude. Like he's gonna, he's running for president now. He's producing soap operas and directing at the same time. It's unbelievable. Like I really hope he makes a cameo in there. I bet he will. Because who'd be better than him? I bet he will. I bet you nobody. Yeah, obviously. You know what? Because he's one opera. Yeah. It's the way it works. Yeah. So, Joe. Yeah, Larry. A Tesla, I don't know if you yeah, heard about this. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla. No, I don't know if you heard about this I don't story. talk about balls usually with my boys. Tesla, a Tesla driver. Did you just spit my face? Video, <laughs> video driving from the back seat. The answer is yes. Identified, given a free trip to Santa Rita, courtesy of CHP. What does CHP mean? Um, I think it's California, California Highway Chips. Patrol. <laughs> California Highway Patrol. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's it Chips. called? Chips. Yeah. Dang on it. Probably, if you let You're me get exactly down to the right. second paragraph, I would have got to that. Would you say chips though? I would not have said chips because no, chip, I chip? didn't. I didn't even think of that. My TV show. But uh. In the East Bay on Tuesday announced the weekend arrest of the man spotted riding across the Bay Bridge in the backseat of a Tesla Model 3 operating on autopilot mode with no one in the driver's seat. Who do you did think you he is? Michael Knight? Did you see it on the news? No. No? Seems ridiculous. Yeah, he looked like a punk. It's not Kit. The California Highway Patrol said officers Jump arrested 25-year-old Param Sharma. That's his name. Param. Well, it explains a lot on Sunday evening for reckless driving of a Tesla while in the back seat on the Interstate 80 in the Bay Area. Authorities said Sharma was arrested without incident and booked in Santa Rita Jail on two counts of reckless driving to disobey a peace officer. I just want to say I'm... I bet you he impounded that car and he said, you know what, I have enough money to buy a new one and I'll do it again. Yeah, and you know what I heard that he said? I already said he's going to do it again. It's weird. That's what I just said. Did you just say that? I did. did I, you, that he I did. thought you said you didn't see the story. I didn't, but I bet you that he said that, because this guy seems he seems like he's all about But he stuff. really did say that, so how do you know that? He probably was like, oh, I'll buy another one. I have tons of money. No, he's, well, I think he... Because they impounded the car. You can tell you get a new one. Yeah, I think he can get it back, can he? All he has to do is pay the fee. Maybe. I don't know how it works. Pretty sure. I've when never you, when your car is impounded, all you got to do is pay the fee to get it back, the so fine. Just give me a minute, Kip. I'll be out there in a second. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and he said he's going to do it again. Because he's a douche. Yeah. You know, I get it, dude. I think it's cool you get a Ford Tesla and you can ride in your back seat. Big yeah. freaking deal, dude. Yeah. I can ride a back seat in my Prius, too. But what happens if, you so know, somebody else is driving. didn't the Tesla crash one time? Like on a highway? I think a few times. Yeah, so it's like, you know, you're putting other people in danger. I think maybe they should just take his driver's license away from him forever. But if he's not driving, does he need it? Oh, you mean because the car's driving. Does the car have a license? I don't think it does. It's got registration. Yeah. License plate. He obviously has too much money. Well, he obviously has a lot of money. Yeah. I feel like we should hang out with this guy. Yeah, I feel like he's kind of a dude. I feel like we punch him right in the face. Yeah, I think, you know. Okay, why don't you go ride a backseat in my car? Can well, you? I do that. I can ride a backseat in your car, too. I would just be like, you got beer in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if this guy was in the backseat drinking beers, but well, yeah. it's a whole different story. No, this guy's driving. Hey, 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 hey. He's being responsible. Yeah. He seems really cool. Yeah. He can afford a Tesla. I'm looking at this in a whole different way. Hang out with this guy. I think we can be boys. Yeah. Shout out, us up. Speaking of cars that have run off of electric, did you hear about his whole pipeline situation? Uh, that's all I've been hearing about. So gas is going really way up, ten cents, three or nine right now in our area. I got it today. It was three or one. Of course you did. <laughs> anyway, there probably wasn't line there either, was there? It, I was the only person. <laughs> yeah, there actually wasn't any lines. We pump our own, we don't pump our own gas here, so people just pump gas for us. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. we're balling up in Jersey. Yeah. 
So anyway, they paid five million dollars at Clone Pipeline ransom uh, to get a janky decryption key. So slow, they had to resort system to back up. Like, what the hell does that even mean? So anyway, this company paid five million dollars ransom for the hackers. They actually did pay. Yeah, yeah, five million. That's just stupid. Well, because nobody else did anything about it. It really is BS. So you know what's funny is you don't see any power plants getting hacked. You wanna know why? Why? Because they're not on the freaking internet. Don't be a freaking moron. Get off the internet, dude. Cut the internet off. They can't hack it. Can't what a power line is? No, all power plants, nuclear power plants, are not online. They're, they're, they, 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 they can't be hacked. Exactly. Makes a lot of freaking sense. Yeah. How freaking smart you gotta be. Well, here's the thing I don't understand. Why Why don't? isn't there a manual override? Like, oh, somebody just hacked yeah, the computer. Let me, let me hit the button. Hit the button. Let me hit it. Turn, turn this and knob. Then, and then open the valve. Where are your valves at? Load up the trucks and close the valve. I mean, how hard is it, dude? It's not that hard. So what amazes me about this Joe whole story it. is, it's not that hackers are that smart no. or gas companies are that dumb, but they're freaking morons out there that are hoarding gas because you're a uh -huh. freaking, look, you're a moron. I'm telling you, look at me, <laughs> and right here in the eye. You're a freaking moron. Look at him. If Just you're hoarding gas, you're a moron. I saw a moron put gas in a freaking bag. What the hell are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with what it? A a bag. A plastic bag. Oh, I thought you said paper bag. I was like, how's that work? Why would it be paper? Dude? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. I would assume it'd be plastic. I just assumed I mean, it was a bag. Yeah, I just. It's hold liquid. Well, it was a moron. It didn't so hold liquid. It, it laid liquid. It's hold... a moron. They put it in plastic. I mean, these people paper. are dumb, dude. Look. Look. Don't be an idiot. That's all I'm asking. Just don't be a freaking idiot. How hard is it? I don't know. How hard is it? Look, if you hoard a gas and I called you an idiot, I'm not sorry. I, I was going to say I'm sorry. I changed my mind. I am not sorry. He's not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I'm not sorry. Did you hoard at all. toilet paper too? Did you? Oh, I bet you they did. Did you? Yeah. I bet you did. Bet. I guarantee. You. Why would you do it? Shouldn't do it. No. I see hands going up. Hoarding toilet paper and getting extra toilet paper are two different things. Yeah. You get an extra set of rolls. That's not hoarding. No. Look, if you worry about gas, fill your car up. Fill up your tank. Yeah. Fill up the, the big gas all, can. People gotta stop worrying and thinking it's doomsday every time. Every happens. stinking time. Now I get you guys a little high sensitive because we have this whole pandemic thing that's going on. I get that. <laughs> so I get that. Things but you you're not moving. working because of pandemic. We need gas for. Yeah. You're collecting those checks. <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know what else I don't get? What? Why is soap opera called a soap opera? Yeah. Why are they? It's not an opera. And it's not, they're not using soap? No, there's no dish detergent. No, they're not doing laundry in it. Oh, you got me. Is anybody singing? Yeah, there's nobody like singing in it. No! Well, that's news to us.